Hey guys, it's me Daniel, back for another video. Now today, I'm reviewing the Monster Hunter World uh, Final Fantasy XIV crossover event. Now, the Final Fantasy XIV side isn't available yet, I don't think. So, I haven't tried it, plus, I don't have Stormblood, I just have the trial version, but... Now, the Behemoth is a monster that has a bit of a short history with me because of, straight up, its appearance in Mario Sports Mix. So that was kind of my first encounter with Final Fantasy. Now, these things in Monster Hunter World, they're ridiculously overpowered. Now, I have the Lunasha set, the strongest non-event armor, plus I have part of the, what's it called, the Kultar set, at which is one of the strongest armor sets available, okay? This thing one hit kills me with any of its attacks, even though I have buffs. Like, the rest of my team, they're getting ready to attack, I'm, I'm grabbing my, the right items, I walk up, and suddenly it gets struck by lightning and die, okay? I just think, why? Like, it's amazing. Even the Kuliaku you have to fight, the buffed Kuliaku, which, by the way, is buffed because it's holding in ether, in ether, right, which is just so, which is just such a nice touch, and you talk to a Moogle, but you find them by following a bunch of cactars, but this buff Kuliaku still has the same attacks, it's just slightly bigger. Now, I think if it's attacks, one hit kill. Now, okay, I play Light Bowgum. I play Light Bowgum. So I'm fighting this behemoth, and seemingly, its ranged attacks are far more dangerous than any of its melees, surely because its melees are more choreographed and easy to dodge. But its ranged attacks are like the Kirin Lightning, but it does. But it only shows you where it's going to hit for a second, so if you lose track, you're dead. Summon comets, and then it has Eclipsal Meteor, which one hits you if you don't hide behind the comets. And, and if the behemoth breaks the comets, you're dead. Or I've also heard, if you jump right when it's using Eclipsal Meteor, when it hits the ground... You can avoid it, and so that that's all the bad parts. But like, it has so many nice touches. Honestly, my favorite part: the characters call you adventurers instead of hunters. Even the fellow hunters, like they call you in Final Fantasy fourteen, and they also, uh, when you're fighting the Behemoth and the Ether Kuluyaku. It uses the Final Fantasy XIV damage font. And it says on the sidebar, Oh, Behemoth casts this. And... Oh, I said that was my favorite part, but even better is that when you start one of the new event quests, it says duty commenced, like it does in Final Fantasy XIV. You can get your own Moogle. and the Cactars, you can catch them with the capture net, and like all animals you can capture with the capture net, you can keep them as pets. And at first when I saw the someone with the gable speed, or insect glaive, I thought the uh, kinsect was a carbuncle, well, who the arcanist has. The only thing that, so yeah, basically the only things I'm I feel they could improve balance because the monsters are way too powerful and I know this might be hard but like make more weapon I feel like there are a lot of things they can go from like there's there's already a great uh great sword called the buster sword just like I know a lot of people say, oh, Final Fantasy VII is over-milked, and I kind of agree with that, because, but, 
such an iconic weapon. Just throw in the Buster Sword, maybe. Have bow guns, and, and that are magical weapons from Final Fantasy XIV, like an arc and a stone, or a staff, and have it, and then revamp the graphics on it, and to have it shoot, like, ruin, or whatever. And just, that would be, or give it a special infinite ammo that maybe travels more slowly, like dragon ammo, but deals a lot of damage, and when you use it, it looks like ruin, and in order to make sure that you can keep using it after you run out after the event, it's like normal ammo, that it's infinite, but of course only when you use that weapon. I would love that. That would be the nicest touch, so there are so many nice touches, but it's just a bit missing. And, and as much as I love all this stuff, the, the Moogles, the, the Gable, you can't get it. Because the monsters are so unbalanced that you kind of just have to... If you play a light bow gun, wh whose point is to attack from a distance, you're better off staying at the camp because you're just going to take a lot of damage and just die a lot. And despite the fact that on the mission where you have to repel it, you get nine continues. No, on the one where you have to fully kill it, you should get three. So, all in all, I give this a 7 out of 10. So, because I use Light Bow Gun, I occasionally use Insect Glaive. Insect Glaive is good on it, though. I'm honestly just gonna hide the whole time and hope I don't get kicked from the party. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Have fun playing this game. If you haven't tried it yet, now is a great time so you can get this awesome new weapon. And especially because the PC port is releasing on August 9th. So make sure to look out for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.